Hey all, welcome to Sunnyvale Cemetery, the third location of the Halloween 2020 story. So now we are here to meet Pike, who has a solution to the old vampire coming alive or at least we explored him, I mean we found out about him in the last location. Miles performed a ritual and derived the secret about the book we had found at uh, high school. So Pike is also a vampire but a harmless one. Mm -hmm. We have to get rid of vampires while walking through the cemetery. So here's a stake to hit the vampire. He turned into ash. Okay, we got more vampires to defeat. It's as simple as picking up the wooden stick and hitting the vampire. Or maybe it will get difficult in the future. Before we proceed to talk to Pike, let's do the treasure part. This is a much interesting one as opposed to the first one which was simply turning off a valve and getting the treasure part. This one involves some logic. So this is the one we have to end up at and we have to go from the left itself which means using this mirror and then this one eventually. This two has only one option. So does this. Now this one has two but we can pretty much guess which one is the correct one. Because going into the corner is not an option. There you go. It hit the main goal already. So again we can backtrack because sometimes Backtracking is the wiser way. You can much easily find a solution by backtracking whenever you get stuck from the front way. So there's your solution. Let's go collect it. Alright, so location is 563 tiles. Let's see what Pike has to say. So we got a few tasks before he helps us further. He is ready with the yellow arrow. Okay, order of food from the butcher. 
which is probably to the right. They got the mustard out. That's probably a song here. Okay, this seems to be the place where you can get food for bike. Hmm, freezer. This seems to be the order. I can push the box to get it. So many boxes, but I don't think they lead to any bonus or anything. So, four more tiles here. And now let's go back to bike. We got two more tasks to do. We are past the halfway mark already. More favors to be done though. Alright, let's go find what those favors are. Hmm, let's try the sound system in the crypt. Who has a party inside a crypt? Anyway, let's go find that as well as destroy the sound system. So the wires are coming from the basement. I know the plan, we are going to spill some water there to short circuit it and destroy the system. Okay, let's go fix those pipelines. Okay, all set. Okay, the music should have stopped now. No more party and bike should be happy. third task but before I get there let me just explore these scripts here because I think they are not related to the task but they definitely have a bonus Hmm. 
Okay, another clip to check out before we proceed with the main task. And this too looks like a bonus to me. I got four stones and four candles. No other objects are four in number, so it's most likely the candles itself. And we can probably place the stones under the candles. The leaves could be another possibility if a fourth one turns out under one of these stones but no fourth leaf so that is the place that's the bonus so with the bonus scripts done let's actually continue with the main task Oh, we got only around 100 tiles left. Steal back the winnings from the demon. Okay. We have to step on the buttons in the order as written on the right side. This is one. Make sure not to step on any other buttons while walking from one to the next. Three, four, and five. And there we go. Where are we supposed to rescue the kittens? We actually got three sets of three kittens instead of three simple single kittens. Kittens, is that the price? Probably the ghosts have nothing to do with money, I guess. Alright, so all three tasks are done, the quest is complete, next up we are going into some disco, we will find out the reason then, but for now we are done with all the tiles, so thank you for watching and see you in the next one.